Good morning guys and welcome to Local Nation. My name is Marco and today I'm at the sales gallery for the line Bohon Yotin Park, a new residential development by Sansory located in Bangkok's local CBD known as Lat Prao. Lat Prao is home to various government offices and large Thai corporations such as Thai Airways. Right next to the development is Tesco Lotus, a large hypermarket chain. And just across the road is Central Plaza Lat Prao, one of Thailand's best-selling shopping malls. The closest BTS station is Lat Prao Intersection BTS Station. And with that being said, guys, it's transportation time. When the Lat Prao BTS station opens sometime next year, it will be only 300 meters away from the development. Use the exit opposite of Central Lat Prao and walk towards Tesco Lotus. Turn right into the entrance and head straight. You will see another condo called Abstract and the line Ponyo Tin Park will be right beside it. There are many future developments coming to the area. The two worth mentioning are Grand Bangsu Station and Machit Complex. Grand Bangsu Station will be the largest transportation hub in Southeast Asia with over 26 different platforms that connect a bunch of different transit lines. Next is Machit Complex, which will comprise office space, retail space, and a sports center. Now that we know more about the area, let's have a look at the model. The line Pohon Yotin Park will comprise one 32-story residential building with 880 units and one 16-story parking building. The building's facade will be a bronzish golden color tone. Green metal will entwine around the building. The green makes it look natural, but the bronze and gold makes it look elegant. The building's concept is a green concept, designed to look like a magical tree. The first few floors will represent the roots with underground tunnels and the middle floors will represent the middle of a tree with a bird's nest. The rooftop is the treetop. The 22nd floor, which is the middle of the tree, will house a co-cooking studio, co-living lounge, photo studio, co-working space, workshop room, co-playing space for children, which will all be connected via an open air garden walkway. The rooftop will be where residents can find a 38 meter salt pool with a jacuzzi and a kids pool. There will be a three-story gym, and each floor will be for something different, such as smart technology, cardio, and weights. To keep in tune with the green concept, the co-kitchen will have an energy-efficient fridge with a knock-knock feature. Instead of opening the fridge door to browse through, you can look through the glass window. It saves electricity and keeps the fridge cool. The smart car machine will grind up leftover food and waste, such as fish and chicken bone. It will turn into a fertilizer, which will then be used to maintain and grow the plants in the development. I'm standing in the two-bedroom unit, size at about 60 square meters. Now, all units in this development will come with a ceiling height of 2.6 meters, and the different unit configurations will have their own furniture package. It all depends on what you guys end up with. Alright, so in this unit, the door opens up into the kitchen area. It's a closed kitchen, as you can see by this three-part glass sliding door. On the left side, we have the fridge area. Now, I would recommend to keep the fridge size to be about this size and nothing bigger because it might block the way of the door. Behind the door, there's a large shoe cabinet as well. And there's more furniture that can be placed over here. Now, on the left, we have the kitchen bench. This is made from engineer quartz, so it's more vulnerable than um, granite and it's also not as porous too, so it's easier to keep clean. All the kitchen equipment is from Mex. So we have the induction stove, with ventilation fan, and the sink. Storage space on top will come as is with this nice material. It's made from a special glass that is heat resistant, fingerprint free, and oil free. So it's easier to clean as well. On the bottom, more storage space, space for washing machine and microwave cabinet. Now, as we can see from the, from the tone of the kitchen, it's a brownish black, green natural vibe so this goes in tune with the concept of magical tree of this development you follow me into the living room so over here it's a small area for for a dining table and this is the living room so sansuri has designed all their living rooms in this development to have a three meter wide gap 
so that when you're sitting here and watching TV, it's not too close as well. There, it comes with a hanging AC. So for two bedroom units, there'll be three ACs included as well. On the right side is the balcony with a strong, sturdy sliding door. And the balcony has its own space for the AC unit, so it, it doesn't bother people when we're standing out there. On the right-hand side of the hallway that leads to the two bedrooms, there's a common bathroom. But first, let me explain to you the purpose of the glass over here. So in the morning when you're tired and hazy and drowsy and you walk to the bathroom, you can't find the lights, you can't find your toothbrush, it gets very annoying. But this glass, sunlight from the balcony, penetrates straight through the glass here and provides the bathroom with enough light so that you can do what you need to do. And eventually, turn on the lights. It also saves electricity as well, so you don't have to turn the lights on every single time you go into the bathroom. All right, so in the bathroom, it uses towels as a flooring, and it's a herringbone pattern. Over here, we have a nice large mirror, and let's see, yep, it's a medicine cabinet, opens up as well. The sink and the bathroom is from Kado, and let me just step into the shower for you guys. So we have a traditional shower and a rain shower as well. And the glass you use in the shower is tempered glass, so that when it breaks, it, be it becomes small little pieces so it doesn't cut or hurt us. The common bathroom is also attached to the second bedroom. This is just second bedroom, nice window, enough space to do everything you need. It could be a kid's room, as the development designed it to be, or it could be a workroom. All depends on what you guys want to do with it. Across the hall is the master bedroom. At the entrance, we have a closet. This comes as is as well. And on my left-hand side, it's the bathroom, which is the same as the second bathroom outside. However, it has a large corner window glass here. So the same purpose as outside, light from sunlight from outside comes all the way in, penetrates through the glass, providing more light. Yeah, so this is the master bedroom. You see that there's windows here. It can be opened, pushed out, closed, and there's a lot of space here to comfortably fit a king size bed. A smart feature that comes in every unit in this development is the well air. Now the well air is uh, it's a product designed by SEG and Sansory together. So what it does is it detects CO2, dust and pollution in the air and then turns on automatically and with the ventilation up there, it just sucks the air straight out. So for example, if you're with your friends and everyone's breathing out CO2 and hot air, it will detect that, turn on and keep the room smelling fresh. So that's a two bedroom unit, have a look guys. This is the one bedroom unit sized at about 32 square meters. On the right hand side of the entrance is a shoe cabinet, has two doors, opens from both ends. And across that we have the kitchen. The kitchen is standard and the same as the two bedroom unit. And the rack that comes down here is included in both rooms as well. A standard in all sensory developments, the Sophi lighting system comes with all units as well. It's a smart lighting feature that allows you to control your lights by your smartphone. All right, so this is the living room. The kitchen is not a closed kitchen, and the living room is right here. So once again, a standard in all, in all units in this development is a three meter wide gap between the sofa and the TV. It gives the living room a nice spacious feel to it. Right hand side of the, of the living room is the bathroom, and the bathroom is standard as well, the exact same as a common bathroom in the two bedroom units. Over here is a three part glass sliding door that can be open from both ends. So you see you push it, it's nice because light can come through and shine through the entire room. So it gives it a nice open feel too. This is the sleeping area. So you can comfortably fit a king size bed here too. The window is over there. Let me just open a little bit to show you guys. So the windows can be opened and pushed to open and close. And there's an area here for a day bed or a work table or whatever you guys feel like doing with your room. This is the, it's, it's a door that leads to the balcony, but it's not exactly a balcony. It's just a place for the washing machine and the AC units. But don't worry that it's going to be too hot because the outside is coated with magnesium to prevent heat. All right, so in middle-sized units with this layout, the glass sliding door would not come installed. So you may have to do that for yourself. 
Have a look guys and see if you like it. The line for Honyosin Park is an exciting project to look forward to. Designed like a magical tree, it houses a wide range of facilities and communal areas. All units are built with quality materials, making this a great deal, especially when taking into consideration the price. The condo will be located in La Prao, Bangkok's local CBD, in an area surrounded by local amenities such as convenience stores, shopping malls, and restaurants. Grand Bangsu Station and Machit Complex, two future developments, may help transition La Prao into becoming Bangkok's new international CBD. For more information, head to sansuri.com. My name is Marco and I'm from Local Nation. If there are any places you guys want us to check out next time, please leave a like and suggestion below. Hope you guys had a great day and we'll see you next time.